All right, guys. So guess what? The car is done. That's right. We got the paint done, as you can see. Got the tires all on that we're running. Got the valve stem protectors on there. Hood is cut, bumpers on. Fuel tank is in, can't see it around the water box. I have my return line, my main line, my oh, my vent line. I have a filter on there to keep bugs and dirt from going down. I have my filler cap, which it does have a valve inside of this that keeps it shut. Okay, so no worries there. Filter's just zip tied over there. I have my pump here and all this mess. Didn't even realize I had on top of it. But literally I have a piece of metal I got off a washer, bent around it, and self-tapped into the floor. And then I have all these zip ties to make sure it doesn't slide out of it. So it will stay in here, it is safe. I have it grounded in two different locations right here. So if one breaks off, I still got the other. Ew. Uh have door bars in passenger driver right there between the layers uh so you gotta put it post to post in might do it might not since i left the seat in uh, i'm really leaning towards not i'd like to see how it does we are allowed plating a foot back we just put a plate right here. There was a seam. You can see right there. So we put it right on that seam. So he welded that seam all the way down on both sides. Have our bumper on. It's not going anywhere. Hole cut. Oh. And we have our fuel lines running down to the fuel rail right there. But you see that line there with the bolt in it, that's blocked off so that fuel fumes are not coming out of the factory tank. Brakes. There's one brake line going from the master cylinder to the caliper. And there is another that goes down there. I do not have good brakes, guys. Uh, like what I mean, I do not have good brakes. I mean... I can only stop if I am in neutral, uh, and that is barely, it takes a little bit of time to stop if I got some speed. So I'm going to have to be careful with that, especially going through tech, because where I go you have to have brakes to run, so I got to fool them into thinking I have good brakes. I moved the seat belt, which on there was tied there. But then I realized that was the only thing attached to the bumper and I did not want to be dragging that around the arena. Uh, it's not a good idea and it really looks stupid. So I just moved it up there, but I left the ones on the frame rails. So if it tries to go down, it has to pull these all down with it, okay? So I move around the battery. Just four pieces of angle iron welded together and then just bolted down through the floor. And then some all thread, got it on there, welded with the bolts. And then we have the topper, which we will slide on probably the day of the derby as we keep pulling the, we kept pulling the battery out of here to weld because I don't even want it in the car. Because it's a good habit to pull the battery out every single time of these. That way you're for sure you know it's unhooked. Um, I trimmed the shifter a little bit more so it goes right in revert, reverse. Which is actually not that good because when I'm in first and I go to hurry up and go to neutral, it slides up into reverse and it like slams, almost like slams on its own brakes. And something I want to show you guys before you get bored and leave is the drive bar. Which you need to remove for front wheel drive class. 
you can unbolt these. Uh, mine were in there really, really bad. As you can see, whoops, sorry, that's my finger. I cut this one. No. There's another one of these here. I cut it. I believe they're called the yokes. So I cut those yoke. And it just popped right out of this. Which actually, there's still some grease in there. And then here, I cut this. Now, you can just cut it here. Undo these two bolts and pull the whole thing out. But, that'll leave a gapping hole in the back of your transmission and fluid will come out. I'm not sure if it's lubricant fluid or your actual transmission fluid. I did not want to find out and I did not want that leaking on top of my exhaust. So I left this in here. It's not bothering anybody. It turns the whole way around. Actually, it still has the ball joint in there. So yeah. So there's that. 